Hello and welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Alt Red, a funny little play on words using the word altered for Alt Red, which is going to be a very, very interesting game. Um, we have ourselves a game that is based in an altered dimension of Pokemon, where all of the Pokemon are going to have a slightly different form from an already existing Pokemon with a type change attached to them. We are going to be Nuzlocking this game and we are going to see how many times uh, the type changes and mix-ups that happen between them throw me off guard and cause us to have a death in this Nuzlocke. I am coming into this pretty much blind. The only thing I looked at was, you know, um, Squirtle is a grass type, Bulbasaur is a fire type, and Charmander is a water type. That is the extent of my knowledge for this game, other than, um, you know, the forms looking different and that it is based on Pokemon Fire Red. So we have a death count above us. I expect that to get very high in this Nuzlocke as I don't think this is an easy game by any means. And we will see just how badly this all goes. For right now though, let's go ahead and get into the good old tutorials. Um, that for example, is weird to me. That is what I assume to be a Natu. However, there's two of them, which makes me think it could also be a Doduo. I have no idea. There's a lot of times like this where I'm going to have to try and work out something as tight because this is blind. And honestly, that could be a disaster. Half the time, I'm probably just going to be guessing entirely based on the color of the Pokemon. If it's green, I'm going to be like, grass type. <laughs> and that's probably going to backfire a lot. But we'll see how this goes. First, tell me a little about yourself. We're going to be going ahead and going with the classic. We are a boy. We're going to name ourselves Carlos. You know, nice and simple. We are obviously going to be nicknaming our rival uh, the worst things imaginable as you have to at the start of every single playthrough and the reason I chose to do this as a Nuzlocke is because partially I want to challenge myself after the Pokemon X Nuzlocke we did which went um reasonably well throughout the whole thing so I want to suffer you know masochism mode uh what do we want to call this rival shall we go ahead and go with the classic immature and just go ahead and call him but Let's go ahead and call him, but just a classic, really. I'm sure many people have done this, you know, it'll spark some memories to when we were all eight years old. Good times, good times. Carlos, the variant Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A well of dreams and adventures and alternate Pokemon await, is what that should say. But we are here. Do we have an alternate device? We play with the NES. Nice, nice. Obviously, the first thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and check if we have ourselves a potion in the PC, which we do. Nice, you love to see it. And I am gonna go ahead and boost that tech speed up a little bit, uh, as we do want that on as fast as possible. We are gonna be playing on shift, not set, because I do think that I'm going to be thrown off enough by, you know, the, the type mix-ups. I think I'm gonna be thrown off enough by that to lose a bunch of Pokemon, so we won't need set mode. The posted notice. If you're confused, ask for help. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Hey. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Let's go ahead and see what Professor Oak has for us, shall we? By going up here and completely ignoring it, we force Professor Oak to come to us. I do want to go into that grass, though. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. So, just to go ahead and go over the rules of the Nuzlocke, for anyone that does not know, a Nuzlocke is you may only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter per route. If you fail that encounter, you do not get an encounter added to your team above you, um, which is our lovely team layout. Static encounters are available to be caught. For example, Snorlax. Static encounter, one-time capture, bonked in the middle of a road, that is a valid encounter that you can grab along with the Pokemon on the route. Shiny Claws is in effect. If we find ourselves a Shiny, that also can be added to our team. I have heard that there is a boosted Shiny rate. I actually don't know if that Claws will stay with us if it starts getting excessive. That one will have to kind of trial. I normally have Shiny Claws active, but we'll see how it goes. Um, if a Pokemon dies, it is gone forever. Boxed, dead box, can't be used anymore. And you have to nickname all of your Pokemon. That should be the most basics of the Nuzlocke. Nice and go gone ahead and explained. All right. Perhaps I'm fed up with waiting. Okay, Buck, calm down. Buck, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait here, Carlos. There are free Pokemon here. Aha, the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. 
So this is where we're going to go ahead and see the kind of things we're going to be looking at. There we go. First of all, we have Fertile. Squirtle. Grass type, obviously. Do we want to go with the nice, simple grass type starter? Grass types are weak to a lot, so I'm I'm thinking maybe not. I'm thinking maybe not. Charmander. Sorry. Sorry. Already making mistakes here. Mermander. The water type starter. Okay. And then we also have Burnasaur. Fire type starter. I am a sucker for two of these Pokemon. Because I'm a sucker for grass type starters. I like to use my grass type starters as I go through. And I'm also a sucker for Bulbasaur because I just like Bulbasaur a lot. As this is a Nuzlocke, there are a couple of things to consider. First of all, actually, there's, there's a good argument for all of these. First of all, the grass type starter in Pokemon Fire Red, if we were treating this as normal, is very good for the first two gems. That's just how it is. But grass types are plentiful later into the game. A water type starter is really good for the first gym. And also, water types have less weaknesses. Fire types are good for the early bug route, and they're harder to come by. There's a good argument for all of them, so I'm going to go with my personal preference of grabbing Bulbasaur, because I like Bulbasaur. But there is a very good argument for all of them, and listen... Listen, I have to, okay? I have to go with my little Bulbasaur boy. It has to happen. What do we want to call our little Burnasaur? I gave it a little bit of thought of whether I wanted to go with a theme for this kind of run, but I think we're going to just name them more based on their type, partially to remind me of their type, and also because I don't have a great theme in mind. So we'll just go ahead and call this thing Ignis, you know, nice and simple. Um, I'll take this one then, and he gets the Mermander. Nuzlocke does not begin until we are able to have Pokeballs. Once we have Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke starts. At the moment, we do not have any Pokeballs in our bag in any way. So if this thing wrecks us with a bubble, we do not lose the Nuzlocke outright. If we get hit by a water gun, so be it. You know, I expect there to be a lot of updated movesets because, you know, the Pokemon themselves have type changes and the moves are going to be reflecting that so we will see what we have oh for pete's sake so pushy as always tell us you've never had a pokemon battle or have you the pokemon battle is when trainers pit their pokemon against each other the trainer that makes the other trainers pokemon faint by lowering their hp to zero wins but rather than talking about it you'll learn more from experience i do see that we have 20 hp not 21 so i don't think we're max ivs we're holding an item okay it's important to get to know your pokemon thoroughly this is a list of your Pokemon. Open this to check the skills and moves of your Pokemon. Yeah, I, I, I would like to. I would like to do that. We have ourselves a Lucky Egg. Why are they starting to move a Lucky Egg? That's really concerning. We are a Lax Nature, so plus defense, minus special defense. Uh, Blaze, standard for a fire type, really. With Growl, Tackle, and Ember. So we're probably getting War Gun. Okay, got it. Understood. <laughs> I see what that means. Um... We'll see what a tackle does, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a scripted loss. Unless we get, like, crazy luck with crits and RNG of him using Growl, but I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh, it has Aqua Jet. Interesting. Priority at level 5. Damn, okay. Um, yeah, Ignis is not winning this at all. It is just not winning this in the slightest. This is pretty much a scripted death. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay, but go ahead. Gloat about your victory. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You can brag. It's okay. I'll win next time. If you lose Carlos, you end up paying the price money. Instead, however, since you had no warning this time, I'll pay for you. But things won't be this way once you step outside these doors. Listen, if if I lose a battle, we're done. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Carlos Gramps, smell you later. Such a weird saying, smell you later. Such a weird saying. But we are now free. We have an item over here. No? I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed that this isn't an item. Okay, all right, I'll keep that in mind. We'll grab ourselves the town map just in case the map has any uh, updates. Hey, hey, give me that. Guess we're gonna go and get Professor Oak's parcel first, you know, the way that they intend you to do it in the game. Route one, let's see what we have around because the Deslock hasn't started yet. So let's see what we're getting ourselves into, shall we? Oh. Bagon? Wait. Pidgey. 
but Fagon, but wait, I'm so confused. Is this actually a Bagon on Route 1? I'm gonna click Ember. I wanna see if it's Flying Dragon. Is this resisted? It's neutral. We get the burn on our first hit. Okay, all right. Sign of lucky things to come, perhaps? Probably not. Probably not, but you know, I, I like the idea. Um, it wouldn't hurt to gain a level or two before the Nuzlocke begins, obviously, but I'm not gonna try and exploit that too much. We do have a Lucky Egg on as well, so it will make leveling up a lot more convenient. Uh, what else do we have alongside Bagon? Tatsugiri? Sorry, Kesogiri? <laughs> Kesogiri. <laughs> oh no, I'm starting to realize I'm not gonna have a clue about so many of these typings. This is gonna get very interesting very quickly. We can't run away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could actually spell disaster if we have that at the wrong time. That's something we are gonna be have to be afraid of. Patsugiri and Bagon is not what I was expecting for Route 1. Puchiena, though. Yeah, okay, that's a Puchiena. Puchiena, though, that makes sense for Route 1. This, to me, this is a Route 1 Pokemon. The other two? Very confusing. This, however, this seem this will probably be what our encounter ends up being, uh, unfortunately, compared to the other two. But we'll see. We'll see. I will go ahead and grab ourselves that level 6 real quick. We'll see if we get anything crazy like, you know, Aqua Jet. We get Smoke Screen. I feel like I chose the wrong star already, but okay. Um, hey! Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Uh, this is not the Route 1 that I am used to. Hello, there's buildings here. What's going on here? Oh! Oh no, they're really planning for me to need this stuff. Oh! Would a house count as a separate encounter? Also, I'm gonna assume that's poison because it has rot in its name and poison and rot are similar in Elden Ring. <laughs> um, route one, did it say something when I entered? No. We could catch one and then we can check uh, the Pokemon status page and see where it says it was caught. And then we would know for the future uh, because for example, it says here met in Pallet Town at level five. So we could use that as a way to test, um, but we would get our encounter on the actual route first because that'd be our guaranteed valid encounter, you know, just to keep things interesting. Is this also gonna give me a goodie? No, okay, weird, weird. Um, oh, the Pokemon Mart is here. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them and get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. They've really added the Mart before Viridian. Weird, really weird. Anything here? No. It makes me feel like I'm I'm not doing something correctly. Why was the first one such an important item and then the rest of the houses are just empty? Oh, okay. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? I did! You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take this to him? I sure can. And then I'll get Pokeballs. And then it'll all go badly. <laughs> so I'm really wondering if I want to level just like once more. I don't think it would hurt. I don't think it would hurt to level once more. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep heading north and see how far north we can go for right now. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Well, I guess that answers that question then. Um, I want to see what other Pokemon we can get inside the house. That interests me way more, to be honest. Like, the route is cool, and I want to see what other Pokemon I can get. But right now, what else is in the house? Wait. I can see another house tile set up there. <laughs> that's that's kind of goofy. I love seeing silly stuff like that, though. Another Rotata. Okay. Uh, let's see what you can do. We'll ember you. Neutral. Still assuming poison. Astonish. Oh. That did a lot of damage. That must be stab, right? Your part ghost, for sure. We get the burn. That actually is very nice. Um, another tail whip. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't know if I had another it's the first time I just used it, but Pale Whip is fine. Burn damage is going to be nice, and we are going to take out this Rotata nice and simply. Could be Poison and Ghost. Could be. Could be. Um, okay. Okay. Let's head back and heal real quick, and I want to take a look at a few more Pokemon. Um, obviously, we'll 
progress a lot quicker when it comes to future episodes. This is the first episode, and I just want to see what kinds of things are out there. And also, I kind of want to see what things we could get as a potential encounter. This is, uh, this is the part where I see something really cool, and I'm like, man, I would love for that to be my encounter. And then we get Puchiena. Um, th this is that part. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm very interested in the Tatsugiri, to be honest. That one interests me the most, just because it's the most, um, most recent Pokemon. Pretty much that. That's all it takes. Obviously, Bagon, stat-wise, could be crazy. However, if Bagon is replacing Pidgey, maybe Bagon is nerfed. And Pidgey is buffed to be a crazy late-game Pokemon with its type change to something like Dragon. Maybe they had an exchange. I don't know. I'm interested, though. Do we have anything else new? Oh! Ooh! Oh, I love Chikorita. If I, I could have a Bulbasaur and a Chikorita on my team, please, 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 please. The Grass-type starter enthusiast in me wants that so badly. Um, given the look, I'm gonna assume it's a ground type. I feel like it'd be silly to assume otherwise. That's certainly a ground type Chikorita, okay? I don't think that one's got too much questioning for it. If Chikorita is here, does that mean the Cyndaquil and Totodile are here? Or are they gonna be Route 2 and Route 3? Possibly Route 2 and Route 3. I'll keep looking for other new things though before the Nuzlocke starts, just for, just for interest's sake. Eevee! Oh, but actually, E-I-V? E-I-E-I-V? E-I-E-I Joe? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not, that's not a saying. Um, what type are you? Wait, what type would an Eevee become? That's still neutral. Uh, gonna tackle as well? I'd love to try and work out this thing's typing a little bit more. Eevee would be a crazy first encounter. Eevee, Chikorita, Tatsugiri, the Bagon. There's a lot of good encounters here. The only bad thing I've seen so far is Puchiana. So you know what our encounter's going to be. <laughs> you already know. Okay, Eevee does go down nice and easily, though. It could still be normal, and all of the evolutions could be changed, but also it'd be weird for one of them to not be changed. Alright, stalling is over. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves... Our Pokeballs, I suppose, and deliver this parcel. Oh, Carlos, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be as talented as they say. What's that? You have something for me? I do. I have my demise. <laughs> ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Yeah, this is where the Nuzlocke's gonna start. There is notices behind him, I just noticed. Um, we'll click on those as well. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Pokedex recovery, my dear child. It is time for you two to get this Pokedex where I am never going to use it because we are doing a Nuzlocke and that means we get one encounter per route. So there's no reason for him to tell us any of this. We have to accept the fact that there is going to be uh, a very, very empty Pokedex, which can actually affect, you know, some of the giveaways later in the game by his scientist aides. It will mean that we won't get as many goodies from them, but we've already got a lucky egg and an EXP share, so I'm feeling pretty good to be honest. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. Good, that's fine. Um, I will go check out that town map as well to see if there's any changes to the map layout. All Pokemon types have strong and weak points against others. That's true. I start to open the menu. Okay, so there's nothing crazy added there that's, like, new information. You know, no, like, hey, actually, Pokemon evolve by um, digging up minerals found around, found around the map and feeding them ores. You know, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Town map acquired. That would be a very interesting idea for a evolution method, though. You just stuff ores into its mouth. Let's go ahead and take a look at our town map, shall we? We have ourselves a very normal-looking route. Okay. Okay. That seems pretty much what we would expect from a fire red map, which is fine. The main focus of this uh of this game is the Pokemon changes, not the map layout changes, which is why I was so surprised immediately when I saw these houses up here. But our Route 1 encounter for this Nuzlocke that could very realistically shape the strength of our team for the very, very, very near future. Um, is if we get this Puchiana, I'm gonna feel horrible. If we get that Chikorita, I'm gonna be ecstatic. If we get the Eevee, it'll be interesting. Let's see what our encounter for Route 1 is going to be. Okay. Okay. Beacon, the Bagon Pidgey fusion. 
That's fine. That's fine. It's not the Puchiana. <laughs> That's all I was hoping for. Um, assuming this thing is flying, which does lead us to have a pretty big rock weakness uh, before the first gym, but that might not matter because Brock's probably going to have type changes. So actually, the more rock weaknesses we get might be better for the long run because Brock might not have any. I'm just saying, it could work in our favor. I'm going to just throw a Pokeball nice and easily. The one downside we might have here is if this still has Bagon's catch rate. That could be really bad. It is a root one Pokemon though, so hopefully they didn't. Okay, all right, one Pokeball. They probably didn't keep it with Bagon's catch rate. This is probably, you know, a nice Pidgey. Its beak is so large that it has trouble opening it all the way. It prefers to stay grounded. Flying ground? Wait, possibly not flying then. I'd... I don't have any way of fully confirming its typing. It just has Beak in its name, so I kind of assumed. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a classic name that I give to a lot of my flying types. Let's go ahead and call you Aria. Actually, you're a guy. Let's, uh, let's rethink. Let's rethink. Do we name this after the legendary flying type starting man himself, Faulkner? I think we're going to call you Faulkner. Let's go with that. And let's check out our good old Pokemon, shall we? It is holding an item. Uh, it's holding a sharp beak. Okay. Normal flying. Um, nothing too crazy in the stats. It has hustle. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to lose this thing to missing a move because of hustle at some point. Just so everyone is aware, that is going to happen. Uh, starting with a sharp beak is interesting, though. Uh, and EXP share is the one I prefer where we give Pokemon the EXP share like so. Okay. I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get a Chikorita or an Eevee. I am a little bit sad about that. But we can go ahead and progress and we can see what's on the next area, I guess. This is still Route 1. Oh, hello. I really walked into that one. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. There he is. There's my guy. There's Joey. Love that guy. Everyone, meet Joey. This is... This is Youngster Ben. What the... What the? Why would they do this to me? Why would they do this? How dare they? This game sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, shouldn't be too much trouble to deal with a beacon, though. We did just catch one and we saw that they weren't too much of a problem. We'll get quick attack when we level it up. That's good to know. That's good to know. And we get 69 XP. Lovely. Nice. We also get a level up on you. Do you get quick attack at four or five? Five. And you also have strength writ. Like strength. Like a fighting centret. I mean, we're going to stay in because, you know, our Pokemon is pretty weak at the moment, but. Oh. Oh. Are you fighting? You look. He looks pretty bulked up. He looks like he's got like a belt down there. This is probably a fire type. I'm just going to. Oh. Probably a fighting type. We're a fire type. Um, I hovered over Ember and my brain immediately went, fire? <laughs> uh, our attack gets dropped, but that doesn't matter. We Ember again. Goodbye, Sentra. We don't need to work out anything more about you just yet. Trying to work out some of these types by just, like, the first half of their name later on might get very difficult. But we'll see how it goes. So do we have Viridian City just up here? I don't see any item down there. Viridian City. Okay. So is there a Pokemon up here or not? There's a rock. A Moonstone Shard. The Shard was gifted to Viridian by the Harrison family. Scientists believe... Not spelled right. Um, it has helped all these flowers bloom so well. Is there anything on the... I want to click on every flower, but I will save everyone the insanity of me doing that. Let's see what we have around, though. I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Okay, be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. Mm, Pokeballs catch Pokemon, six Pokemon in your party, all that sort of stuff. Um, doesn't seem like we're going to get any, like, Quick Claw or anything for that. That's fine. Uh, let's go for a Quick Heal. Oh. Oh, what is this? What is this? Blindly doing a Nuzlocke if this game scares me, by the way. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it all to go wrong. Um, Pokemon Center's heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. Uh-huh. What do you sell? Oh, wow, they're really cheap Pokeball. They really want me to catch a lot of things, huh? 
It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's also really cheap potions. I'm sure that won't have any negative issue as we go forwards. I'm sure things being this cheap is a sign that the game will be easy and fun for a Nuzlocke that I have started to do. Should I have researched this more? Maybe. Uh, there's Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Yup. Hello, hello. I'm official name rater. We're not changing our names just yet. And Pokemon Move Maniac. Oh, they're really giving me a lot of options here. Um... You're the move deleter. Yup, yup. If these are in every Pokemon Center, then they really want me to have good movesets. Uh, please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me so. It's very kind of her. What is this? Pokemon Cable Club. Okay, I don't think I care about any of that. And what is through here? Hello? I am the Shuckle Lord. <laughs> this must be your first time here. Yeah. Here you can fight substitutes to help train your Pokemon. Oh! Feel free to go heal outside if you are struggling. Okay, well, we don't need to heal. We don't need to train up just yet. Uh, Pokemon Center seems crazy with what they've added there. Um, I don't even remember if I healed because I was so distracted by Shuckle Ward. Okay, all right, we're good. We're good. Uh, I think that is where we're going to wrap up this first episode. Next episode, we will obviously be trying to fill out our team a little bit more as we make our way up to Pewter City. We'll have our Viridian uh, Forest encounter, our Route 2 encounter, uh, the route to the left if we can access it like normal where the Nidorans and Mankeys are. We'll go get an encounter over there and we'll fill out our team a little bit more. But I am interested in seeing what's around as at the moment we've started with um, Hijagon. Or Badgy, whichever one we want to call it. I'm still not sure which this is actually based on. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to assume Bagon. But we'll see how things develop in the future. If you guys have enjoyed this episode and are excited for the future of this playthrough, please go ahead, leave a like down below. The first episode always means a lot. Hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, 